Hi there, rock climbing in the Philippines here with my scary hair. I don't know what it is. I can't do anything with it. Anyway, how are y'all? Um, I have to apologize for being so long or far between videos. I did warn you that it would get a little bit less because I really need to work on other things. We really do need your money. And by the way, I'm sick fed up of bloody people who think that they can just, you know, help themselves to all the stuff I put online and then call me an e-beggar. I'm just a guy who wants to be paid for the work I do. So stick your hand in your pocket and send me something. All of these videos, nearly all the videos I make, get between 500 and 1,000 views, and some an awful lot more than that. If each one of you put two bucks, two dollars, for each of those videos that you watched, well, you can see where I'm going with this. There certainly wouldn't be the financial problems that we've had. So you're just going to have to stop freeloading, okay? Now, I'll put up the, or you've already seen, the uh, addresses of the sites to which you can send uh, your uh, assistance and appreciation of the work that I do. Okay? Now, I just really want to update you with this one. I've actually prepared a few more uh, yesterday and today, and they will be going out over the next uh, four or five days. So I think from one hour, what's going to happen is that I'll do batches like that, because I kind of get everything set up, and then I can do all the editing and so on in one go, and it you know, gets that out of the way, then I can move on to the other things and do that kind of thing for a while, you know, and then come back to it. So it's actually easier to just set it up this way. So the first thing to say is that one of the reasons I haven't been so prolific on YouTube, at least, is that this, you know, we moved house in June for a number of reasons, mainly because the last house was filthy and we couldn't clean it. You know, there was a there was a big problem with uh, dust there. It was just dust blew in off the road all the time and you know, everything everything was covered in, in dust. I've actually had to buy new keyboards for my laptops because they were choked up solid with dust. That's how bad it was. So we moved here. The trouble is here is really noisy. It's so bloody noisy, you have no idea. I mean, by the way, if you're thinking about coming to live in the Philippines, make sure you move somewhere where it's quiet or they are deaf or don't mind wearing ear defenders all the time because I'll be honest with you, this is a real noisy shower. I'm between karaoke and dogs that they happily let bark all day, um, shooting ranges and machine gun fire, you name it, this is a bloody noisy place to live. And hmm. now the other thing is that that kind of makes me feel that, you know, it's just really not a suitable place. I've spoken to Sam about it, she hates moving. I mean, she has a real hatred of moving house, and I, I do understand it. It's not a nice thing to have to do, you know, because you've got to pack up, you know. Um, and I really would like to be able to move her somewhere where we could stay for, you know, a much longer period of time. But my, uh, I have a problem, you see, because um, my blood is not normal human blood. You probably gathered that, you know. I think it's about 25% salt water. It's about 25% hydroquinone, which is photographic developer. It's about 25% engine oil used, and it's about 25% printer's ink. Because I do come, I'm an inky, I come from the age of print. That's an interesting mix. I think you'll agree. But the first bit is maybe the most important, that bit about the salt water. You know, I was brought up by the sea, and I find not being able to see the sea really hard. It's, I mean, I know that people who weren't brought up by the sea they just don't feel this but for me it's like my god you know uh, it, it, when I am not able to see the sea or even better put my feet in it uh, just the stress gets so much you know it's like it's horrible and it's instantly relieved by wandering along the beach but the problem is that since lockdown happened since the sorry let me put that in the way since the absolutely a ludicrous farce of C-19 orchestrated by the ludicrously useless World Health Organization in association with the completely absurd World Economic Forum has shut down the entire world. We haven't been able to go to the sea. Hmm. But I think we can actually manage to move closer to the sea and do it that way. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we won't do anything before January because, you know, it's getting on November now. 
Uh, my son is coming in December, which is great. You know, I haven't seen him for 10 years. It's way, way, way too long. So I'm really, 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 really looking forward to that. And maybe we'll do some stuff for you online just so you can meet him. So he's coming over Christmas and then he'll go back uh, just for the new year. Because the prices of flights, it's a, it's a bad time to travel, you know. And then we shall move in January, I hope. Um, ideally, what we would like to do in a slightly longer term is to buy a place, you know, to amass enough cash so we can do that. And it's not that hard to do here. You know, it's not that hugely expensive. Uh, it wouldn't cost any more than we pay in rent, let's put it that way. Um, so what we really want to do is find a place where we could put a small house, little house, and just be comfy, you know, and snuggy wuggies and all that kind of stuff that we like in the quiet. That sort of thing. Now I've got to think about all, all the dogs and cats and all the rest of it. We'll manage. Anyway, that's just sort of what's really been happening. Sam is fine. Sam is absolutely fine, you know. She's still, I mean, she's always going to have this. She has these bouts of fever and general ill health, and then they pass, and she's okay. Um, I think that's always going to be like that. I don't think that's ever going to change. I think we just have to work our lives around that. She doesn't like making videos anymore because some people have been way more than reasonably offensive, you know, just horrible. And this has happened, it's not just been, um, some of them were ladyboys, other ladyboys who are showing obvious jealousy, um, but some showing from Westerners who are showing the, 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 the very deep ignorance and lack of common courtesy and civility that has become characteristic of certain groups of Uesicans over the last few years. You know, I remember when Uesicans were held up as being examples of politeness. You know, they were. They were. It was like, yeah, damn, wow, Americans are such nice people. You know, they always say please and thank you and ma'am and sir. And you know, they just—they're always really nice like that. Well, that bloody got lost, didn't it? What was it? You let the millennials get their hands on the computers. You just forgot to thrash their arses when they were despicable little pillocks maybe anyway as a result of these people's activities sam ain't gonna have it i mean i i got a real thick skin i find you people so bloody despicable i don't care and i take great pleasure in blocking you it's actually fun so you know, insult away and see how long you last don't bother me anyway that's that um i had actually done this up before and it kind of had a problem with the recording so that the voice got dislocated from the the, the, the the lip sync, that's it, the lip sync went out, which I don't understand how that can possibly happen, but it did. Um, I've got another four there ready to go, and I'm just about to record another one here. Uh, and I think we'll probably have done with that maybe one more today, and then I might be starting to get a little bit hoarse. But anyway, for just now, we will catch you later. Please enjoy, please help us. You know, we're nice people, we need the money, give us a leg up. And if you think I'm an e-beggar, so what the fuck? I don't care what you think, just give me the money. Take care, bye. <laughs>